Yesterday, uh, 12 October, two Canadian Armed Forces flights uh, transported, as Julie noted, 236 passengers from Ben Gurion Airport into Athens, Greece. Today, we expect similar numbers. Canadian Armed Forces has two planned flights, which will uh, also include the transportation of approximately 30 Israeli citizens returning to Tel Aviv at the request of the State of Israel. Today's first flight left uh, Athens just afternoon with 19 Israeli passengers on board, plus a contingent of five personnel from Global Affairs Canada, and arrived in Tel Aviv. That first flight has since departed Israel and is with approximately 135 passengers and has just landed in Athens in the past hour. The second flight departed Athens in the afternoon local with nine Israeli passengers and has arrived in Israel uh, this afternoon and that second flight is either just departing or has just departed uh, in Ben Gurion as we speak with approximately 125 personnel on board. Hi, you were mentioning that uh, some of these flights had Israelis who were coming back to Israel. I'm wondering if those were reservists, if there's any information you can provide about the individuals who came, I assume, from Athens to Israel and the numbers again, please. Hey, thanks, Annie. And just as I said, this was a request from the State of Israel. So uh, we had flights going inbound today and uh, meeting the request from the State of Israel through uh, Global Affairs Canada. We've had approximately 30 Israelis heading back. I don't have the details, the information on who, who they were, but it was a request from the State of Israel, which we got through the Global Affairs Canada. We certainly actioned that. So we had 19 on the first flight inbound and nine Israelis in the second flight returning to Tel Aviv from Athens. To all our friends in Canada, in Montreal, this is from you. May we, I wish we don't have to use it, but you're taking care of our essays. Thank you.